It's time for my first drive of the Emo X. This is courtesy of Craig at Operation 11. Charlie sent it to me for review. Also, you got some parts on the way. When I'm done with this thing right here, I send it back. So it is not mine. I've got to be easy with it, but this is the first drive. I'm going to show it to you real quick on the table. <sighs> and let's go. I want to start out with this is an awesome vehicle. 2.2s. They look like 1.9s on this particular size vehicle. 1.8 scale. Uh, this thing is awesome. Let's dig in. ESC is basically a Hobbywing 880. Uh, it's got diff locks front and rear. These default two locked. And the server geometry, hopefully you saw my unboxing video, is absolutely awesome at how this works. It's got portals on it, nice and beefy as well. Some of the gnarliest 2.2 tires I've ever seen, and these things are absolutely sticky. The body is loaded with lights front and back, and they have this little, little board thing right here, little programmer that allows you to do all kinds of stuff to it. So yeah, um, definitely has features, all that. The body is nice and solid. Now I do got to tell you guys, the spare tire on the back is full functional. It's gonna add a lot of weight to the back, but for this first drive, I'm gonna leave it on, then I'll take it off for another drive because uh, it's definitely gonna add some weight to the back of this thing. The truck is rated a 4S, so that's what I'm running. 3000 milliamp 4S battery by Power Hobby. Fits in there nice and snug. It fits under the crossbar and all that. Okay, so the first thing I wanna see are some speeds. I don't have the GPS on it, but uh, let's see. First gear, 4S. That's totally workable. Now let's try that second gear. All right, there we go, second gear. Let's see here. Oh, wow. That worked out pretty good. A nice spread on the gearing, by the way. Yeah. If you can actually run behind it this fast for very long, not gonna, uh, uh, you're gonna be gone. <laughs> oh, nice juice. Oh, yeah. Let me uh, lock the diff in. This is the rear diff is locked now. Had them opened up because it's better to have open disc when you're hauling butt. <laughs> oh. Dude, this thing is awesome. I'm gonna have to get one, you guys know that, right? Okay, we are in low gear, doing some crawling here on 4S. About to get its first set of scratches here. Suspension is compliant, works pretty well here. Lizard, hiding. Let's see what we got going here now. I feel this is way more of a trail vehicle versus a like a competition style rock crawler. As it sits, I think it'll be much better on the trail. If you want to do good quality crawling like this, I'd recommend something like, if you're gonna crawl it, okay, if you're not gonna bash it like a Fusion 2300. Oh, we're about to fall off of that. The size of this thing, in my opinion, is awesome. I really like the size of this truck. Like when you go to places that's just got like big open trails and stuff like that, like parks, this right here can carry a large battery, very capable. And I'm assuming at this point, I haven't torn the axles apart. I'm assuming they are plenty beefy inside. I'd have to assume that. Now we could try crack a doom, but I don't know how it's going to go. Let's find out. Thinking with the weight of the body, it will go over. Oh, uh, this is not looking good. The body is too heavy. Let me get myself in position here. I don't want to roll this truck. There it was. Yeah, the body's too heavy. The tire on the back isn't working out very well for it when it comes to the side hill like this. All right, we got, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna have to come back and try this without the spare tire. I think without the spare tire, it'll actually be a lot better off. All right, let's try some mud bogging. <laughs> wow, it picked up everything on one pass. See, I, I got to clean all that out now. 
Good bounce though. <laughs> this is the only way <laughs> to get your truck dirty in the cleanest mud pit on the planet. <laughs> wow. Now this area through here is something I've been working on the last few weeks, clearing it out, trying to make it suitable for scale trucks. And it actually runs along the back side of the track. Now this is a spot right here that I want to put a gate on. If this monster can clear through this, then everybody should be able to clear through it, right? One roll, <laughs> one little soft roll. Sorry, Craig, it's dirty. <laughs> one little soft roll. Yeah, I'm gonna have gates back here though. Like take them up through here, which I think will be pretty darn awesome. Let's see what we got going. Now I figured this one eighth can make it. Everybody should be able to make it, right? Wow, when this thing comes off, it comes off, don't it? <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a close one. Oh, should take a chainsaw and make some kind of a little elevated crawl right there, huh? Unfortunately, I've got to jump this. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I forgot, I gotta clean this thing out if, if I do that much. Let's try it again. Oh, I'm, I'm landing on the hard. Let me change this. Okay, now we should be landing in the soft. Let's see. Oh, it almost cleared all the soft. All right, let's uh, try it again. Oh, that was beautiful. There's like no way to break anything on that. Okay, I got the perfect shot. Oh man. Here we go again. Yeah. This thing's awesome guys. Cross RC did a great job on this. I like the rear suspension, the way that works. There's zero side to side on this thing, so I'm good. The jump into the straw, I love that straw. It's the cleanest mud pit on the planet. Love that stuff. This thing right here is nice. It's nice enough that I'm probably gonna order one. I, I just feel that I do need to get one of these on the way. So that was the first drive, right? With the tire on, I'm gonna take the tire off and see how that changes the balance. Cause it really had no chance at the crack of doom. Way too top heavy on that one. But I'm thinking we take a little bit off the top. I think we'll be okay. But to me, this isn't really a hardcore rock crawler. This is more like something you take on a trail because you can fit a nice size battery in this. It's large enough where you can haul a spare battery with it as well. So the tires are big. Everything looks like it's beefy enough to handle it. This is a win. This is absolutely a win. And guys, I hope you agree. I'm gonna take it out for another drive without the spare tire. I've also got some mods on the way, uh, metal axle housing, some brass and stuff like that to further perform further extend its performance and we'll see how all that plays out but guys check that description i'll link them up down below use those links hit that subscribe ring that bell and i want you all to have an absolutely fantastic day and i saw this uh i saw this recipe um it was like sausage cheese a little bit of milk and um uh, there was something else in it but he, he mixed them up into like meatballs oh flour no pancake uh waffle no it was like a pancake mix a pancake batter it was like a breakfast sausage ball is what it was it looked phenomenal guys yeah you guys have a great day if i can find that recipe or whatever it is i'll link it or show it to you guys have a great day
This has been our go-to Thanksgiving and Christmas breakfast for as long as I can remember. We call them sausage balls. My family loves them and they only take four ingredients. To make them, I just combined two and a half cups of Hungry Jack pancake mix with two cups of shredded cheddar, a quarter cup of milk, and a pound of breakfast sausage. Once that's all mixed together, I just use a cookie scoop to portion those out and they go onto a greased baking sheet where they're going to go in the oven at 350 degrees for about 25 minutes. These are perfect to prep the night before to take a little stress out of those holiday mornings. Guys, you made it to the end! This is awesome. Thank you so much. You guys making it to the end of the video means so much to me. Uh, I mean, for real. Consider joining, becoming a member for just $2 a month. That's the cheapest way to go. In the description are affiliate links, eBay, and eBay, Amazon. You guys know all the, all the stuff on that. Um, but yeah, guys, it means a lot that you're here and you're listening to this right now. And I want you to have a great day.